Another aspect of human fallenness uh, I, uh, is, is revealed in the teaching uh, uh, in the Bible of weakness. And weakness is, uh, Paul uses the term in 2 Corinthians a lot, but weakness is a Greek, uh, it comes from a Greek word, asthenia in, in the Bible, that refers to any deficit that a human being has. And, it, and, it, and it, in some verses of the Bible, it ref is used to refer to poverty. Uh, other verses, it's used to refer to physical illness. But when you see all the uses, it can refer to any physical, psychological, or spiritual deficit that a human has. And because we're uh, living in a fallen world, not only are human beings sinners, but they're also, they, they have the possibility of being, uh, developing various kinds of weaknesses. I want to apply that biblical concept of weakness to the field of psychopathology and say that it's a helpful term that can uh, refer to psychological problems like mental impairment, autism, uh, having a chronic uh, psychological condition like depression that's due to, uh, say, growing up in a, a dysfunctional family. Uh, so um, I, I, I want to, to help my Christian counselees to be able to distinguish when they have a weakness or a kind of biologically based or psychologically based damage, form of damage that's a result of growing up in a fallen world with a fallen body from having sin, because they're not the same thing. One is a part of a damaged creation that, that is originally created good that can, bring, bring, uh, that can uh, be healed to some degree, and sin is something that needs to be repented of and put to death. And uh, both are an important part of being uh, fallen creatures in this life. But I think Christian counseling is going to want to help people uh, distinguish these two because they, we approach them quite differently uh, from a Christian standpoint.